I think it'll be transformational for uh, many of our regional and provincial towns. Um, you know, it's a it's a key platform for businesses to be able to operate um, out of anywhere. Otago and Southland is geographically, um, you know, a, f a long way away from um, many of our major trading partners, both nationally and internationally. But um, the provision of ultra-fast broadband enables them to compete anywhere um, in the world and makes Southland and Otago a, a very attractive place to come and do business. So, Jack, from your point of view, this must be exciting. This is like a dream come true. Well, you know, I came to New Zealand a very long time ago and set up a broadband company uh, back in the day. And as part of Crown Fiber, you know, I have a, a real appreciation for just how significant this project is. I, I think uh, it will go down as, as quite possibly the most significant infrastructure project the government's ever done. And um, the benefits, as Todd has alluded to, are going to be really, really substantial. So do you think it has the power or the potential to move the balance from the cities to the regions? Is that overstating things? Um, I think we're already starting to see from the rollout of um, the first phase of ultra-fast broadband into places like Queenstown, and Invercargill, Dunedin, that uh, a lot of businesses are coming down here. I mean, you look at shot over cameras, for example, they're a perfect case in point here in Queenstown where they wouldn't be able to uh, function and, and undertake their business without uh, the provision of ultra-fast broadband. So I think it does definitely, um, I, I would say it's probably a game changer for, for parts of um, our electorate like Gore, um, you know, Winton, Milton, Balclutha, Tiarnau, um, where you can simply um, operate your business from anywhere um, across the region now. So Jack, in terms of New Zealand's international competitiveness, does this make a difference? Does this take us ahead of our neighbours Australia? Does this uh, take us into some sort of international league in terms of being business friendly and our GDP, for instance? Well, I read recently someone had talked about <clears throat> the tyranny of di distance becoming the benefit of distance in a way and and clearly the ability to connect to the world uh, for every virtually everyone in New Zealand you know 85 percent of New Zealanders will have access to ultra fast broadband which can be speeds right now up to a gig which is just mind-boggling really uh, so it certainly will give New Zealanders an opportunity to compete much more effectively and really take advantage of being early in the time zone, global time zone, rather than uh, at a disadvantage. Uh, certainly, um, you know, Australia is doing the same kind of project. <clears throat> I think it's fair to say, and I think the Aust our Australian friends would acknowledge that uh, they aren't really getting fibre to every home as we are and that the network in New Zealand, um, yeah, I think, quite frankly, will be much more of a... Um, substantive network but the same concept and and I don't want to I don't want to bag our good friends across the ditch I mean every country in the world every first world country in the world is recognizing that having ubiquitous broadband connectivity is like having a good motorway system 30 or 40 years ago so finally Todd in terms of our ability to house workers uh, roads being congested does fast internet help that problem or make it worse because we'll be attracting more people to these remote areas? Well, I think, um, I mean, it depends which, which way you look at it. I mean, if you're a, a sole trader that's got an office in, uh, in town, maybe you might think twice um, uh, by, by still retaining that office. You could still work from home. Um, if you're living in Arthur's Point or in Renair Town or in Jack's Point um, in the future and within the next few years when Ultra Fast Broadband rolls out. So, I mean, it, in the same way it um, sort of disperses, has the opportunity to disperse population across regional New Zealand, it has the opportunity to um, uh, enable more flexible working arrangements for people in those areas as well.